The votes have now been counted. Here is the result. Number of members entitled to vote 185. Number of members present and voting 173. Number of abstentions 52. Majority required 81. Votes in favor 107. Votes. Votes again. Votes against 14. Ladies and gentlemen, the General Conference has thus voted to adopt the draft resolution and decided to admit Palestine as member of UNESCO. Ladies and gentlemen, your excellencies, your excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, let me congratulate Palestine on behalf of the General Conference for the admission as a member to UNESCO. Let me share with you just a few thoughts as the President of the General Conference. We are here in the home of cultural diplomacy. I myself see our world as a global cultural space, a multi-layered treasure. The process of inspiration followed by the creativity of people working together is to me the most beautiful aspect of this varied culture space. And if we truly believe that diversity in thoughts, ideas, or cultures is a source of inspiration and not a burden, we can make the world together a better place. I would like to remind everybody the roles of members of UNESCO, which is to endeavor to overcome existing divisions and differences, to build a better future for our children, the future of peace and prosperity. And now we come to the statements and the explanations of vote. Ladies and gentlemen, member states who now wish to do so may request the floor to make a statement or explain their vote. Each speaker will have two minutes. After that, I will give the floor to the representative of Palestine. And at the very end, I will ask the Director General to make her statement. Before I give you the floor, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to make an appeal to all speakers to respect the solemn moment, as well as UNESCO, as the House of Cultures and Dialogue. 